Hello there, Star Citizens. This is Scotty D with Icarus Interstellar Incorporated again. All signs on thrust. Um, big news here of last week has been a lot of people talking about the advantages of using tool sticks. Um, and uh, it got me to thinking about uh, with the Thrustmaster uh, T Flight uh, HOTAS setup because uh, when I played a little bit with the Elite Dangerous, um, it, they had that auto configured to where the throttle in the mid position was zero. And so forward, you push forward and you go forward, pull back and you go in reverse. And so I did uh, a little bit of playing around here. And you can do it um, with this HOTAS setup. So what you need to do is uh, you go into your options here for the HOTAS flight and movement. And uh, it, in my previous video, uh, I had set uh, throttle up and down absolute to the throttle controller. And I've removed that and you can see they're blank. And they were talking about with the two sticks that you make your left stick and you set it to uh, straight forward and straight back. So I went ahead and did that here with the Z uh, throttle set. Now the other thing um, I realized after I did the first video is they've got they've added a whole set of decoupled um, controls, and uh, I was kind of noticed that here not too long ago when I would go decoupled, uh, I could turn around all I wanted to, but I wasn't getting any type of, of thrust, and um, so this was why because I didn't have any of these set. So I also went through and set, uh, you set them to the same controls. It's, it's, it doesn't have to be different. It'll prop up a, a little message Oops. like that. It says this is already set to that, but you can have t two inputs for that. Um, so that's, uh, you can do that. So here again on straight forward or back, I put uh, Z. And there again, you want to make sure that if you decide you want to keep these, I mean, you can go in and you can test them out. But if you decide you want to keep them, it's always a good idea to do your export. Oh, that's... And here again, like I said before, your backspace doesn't work. So you have to just cancel. Um... See there it says that this you're gonna if you do it it'll overwrite it and it does. So just to give a, a little show here. Just do a little free flight. Now, as a, a caveat uh, to... Aegis Combat Assist activated. Systems green. ...to all this, uh, I am not sure, uh, you know, don't have any type of input, you know, for sure, but I would think that CIG will probably not let this run because the strafes initially were not meant to be full throttle, you know, 100%. Main, main speed. after a 
Church. And this is a couple of them. Disengage couple. Flight assist off. Alright, so now I'm decoupled. does the same thing. When I pull to the aft, it slows you down and then backs you up. But when you're mid-position, it doesn't do anything. You can maintain your velocity. So you have to go in the other direction to speed yourself up or slow yourself down. Flight assist engaged. So, if I go and slow myself down, oh, too far. Get back to zero. Couple. Flight assist on. I see it, it jumped to four. This is mid position, it's at four. Decouple. Coupling. Back it up. Couple. Flight assist engaged. Okay, so now I go back to zero, or mid position on the throttle, it goes back to zero. So that may be true for sticks as well. I don't know. Uh, they, you know they talk about them being auto neutral. Uh, it's auto neutral when you're coupled and you start off, but it, as soon as you go decouple, if you go coupled again, wherever your neutral is, is <laughs> is where it'll it'll stay at whatever the thrust was. So, um, got to keep that in mind. Uh, so anyway, you can do it with the. Uh, T-Flight, I'm sorry, the Thrustmaster, T-Flight, X, OTAS. You can set your throttles to go forward and astern.